Hello. Today I'm going to walk you through how to get started with RevUp Render and using our advanced supercomputing power to render complex model geometry in a short amount of time. So first off, just go to RevUpRender.com and if you don't have an account, you just click on Sign Up and enter your personal information. Be sure to read the terms of service and then you click I agree and once you have an account which I'm just gonna go ahead and sign into mine so I type in my information here password sign in and you'll get an activation email to activate your account when you sign up and once you sign in if you already have a package that you've purchased it'll display that information here and how much time you have left if you are just signing the first time you go ahead and purchase a rendering package and you could do that through PayPal with your PayPal account or you could simply use any type of credit card securely through PayPal then once you um, have your rendering package we'll actually email you a very small remote desktop connection file and you'll put in your information there and simply type or click on connect and then you type in your password click OK and it'll secure the connection it encrypts it so everything's secure any kind of files you're sending and now you can actually see I'm connected to the remote computer so this is this is the local computer and then this is the remote computer this is actually the rev up render supercomputer which you can see has 16 separate processors and I'm going to go ahead and actually open Revit which if it's your first time opening Revit you would actually activate your copy of Revit it's up to you to uh, abide by Autodesk's rules and their licensing agreement so you have to enter in and activate your own serial number of Revit or whatever other software you're going to be using on the system so now that I have Revit open you can see that there's some very complex geometry here and typically on a even a high-end HP workstation this kind of geometry just would not render in Revit you can let it go for three days and it'll never get past 10 percent so on the RevUp render system we're just gonna go ahead and start a rendering on high quality and I'm gonna let that go while we're talking so you can see it's processing the model quite fast and it's going to start rendering so while that's going I'm going to show you a few different things here you can see that now that it's starting to render many of these different cores in the processing of this of this system are being used all at once so there's more than just one or two cores being used it's actually utilizing a lot of the system but at the same time it's not using too much of the system so you can go ahead and do other things such as you could even render a Navisworks animation of a skyscraper this is an 80 story skyscraper that we did an animation of on here and so you could see that Revit is rendering and it's not freezing up or anything, it's processing the model and at the same time I'm moving around in a very complex model inside Navisworks but also I can have Ecotech and this other parametric Paracloud software running, I could be working in all these different softwares all at once and it's still not really even using that much of the processing power so you could do even more you could work in AutoCAD but at the same time you could actually go back to your computer locally in front of you, in front of you on your desktop and you could work in AutoCAD or any other kind of you know Excel or anything and it's only going to be using the processing power on the remote system so to be doing this rendering here it's not using any processing power whatsoever on your local computer and so 
I'm going to just skip ahead here because this is going to take about 10 minutes to render and we don't want to And as you can see here, this is finishing up rendering. And one other thing I was going to show, because I kind of skipped ahead before, is the part about file transfer. When you connect in through remote desktop connection, you're actually, you have the option to connect your hard drives. So these are the hard drives on this local computer that I'm currently using. And if you go into the hard drive, you can actually just transfer files from your local computer anywhere in the world that's sitting in front of you to the RevUp render system here. Just as it, you can transfer the files just as if you're transferring them on your on your regular computer. So you just would copy them and then um, paste them to the desktop. So there's no FTP that's required or anything like that. It's actually much simpler. So I'm going to go back to this rendering. It looks like it's almost done. Might finish in less than 10 minutes. Okay, there it goes. It's almost done. Just rendering the complex geometries of the geodesic dome off to the right side of the image. Which before, it wasn't even possible for us to render this kind of stuff in Revit. It would just never get past the initial stages of rendering. Okay, so it finished in 9 minutes and 25 seconds, as you can see here, and that rendering is complete in a very short amount of time, which will save you countless hours, and also it frees up your computer so that you can do other stuff. So that's how simple RevUp Render is. You sign up for an account, use the connection tool to connect in with your secure password and encrypted connection and then you can start rendering in Revit or other building information modeling software in a much shorter amount of time. So please contact us if you have any questions or if and thank you very much for watching.